Hello guys, Adventure Slotman's here, here. Um, now everything's thawing out uh, and we're not going to have the harsh frost again tonight. <clears throat> we're starting to see uh, the sort of what, what sort of temperatures we got uh, on the allotment. I may have been a bit hasty saying it was minus seven um, because uh, there are a few clues as to uh, the actual temperature. Uh, one is that the Euphorbia mellifera, which is a really good... Uh, it's actually a really good, what's the word, like, it's a good uh, suggestion of what the temperature might have been. Uh, might have been. Uh, this would suggest that, this is, by the way, this is hanging down because it had ice and snow on it, not because it's uh, mushed up and going to collapse to the ground. If you have a look at the top ones, they're okay, simply because they didn't have the level of snow on them. They look a bit uh, ragged, but they will recover um, and the one behind it you can see that as well they're, they're, they're basically recovering now the temperature that takes these down to the ground and I mean like you know cuts the stems back and cuts the leaves back is about minus five so I can say from this because these plants are not damaged some there's some mechanical damage from the uh, ice and snow being on it but I can say safely that it wasn't below minus five on here because of this plant. Um, and whilst it is uh, sort of protected by trees, I don't think there would have been much difference between here and out there. Another thing is, I suppose, um, uh, whilst many plants are finished, okay, the Brugmansia here, um, there are plants in there that would suggest that it hasn't been to minus seven because if it had, uh, they would have been uh, instantly boiled into a black colour. One of them is um, is a um, this aloe or Ampialos striatula, and the reason I can be a bit fine with this, although I will, uh, I will, it might seem early to be uh, to be saying this, but it's not frozen. If you have a look, sorry, the pliability, it's there, and it's not um, it's not mushy. So this one probably will pull through. Um, yeah this plant will pull through and had it been minus seven this would have been a black boiled mess by now because they don't really tolerate it much and just for reference there's my yuzu and you might not be able to see in this light because it's all all the white background of the snow but it's very it's looking healthy even the new growth has not got any uh damage whereas in previous years that had got instant damage so yeah not bad um the pineapple guava and the strawberry tree also uh, look fine, although obviously the pineapple guava fruits are finished and they've been frozen and that renders them impossible to use, so that won't be a thing. The other thing I noticed from previous years is that even a, a moderate frost, say like minus four, uh, would damage uh, our friend there, and it's got no damage. It's got It hasn't got much damage, even on the new leaves. It's, uh, you might think it's too early to say, but you just know when there's damage has occurred because the leaves are soft and pliable and you can actually see your finger through the back of the leaf in the shade if if they're damaged because it loses that chlorophyll. Um, but no, these uh, plants seem to be okay. Um, and another one that would guess that is red cordyline, um, which is doing okay. As you can see, the red cordyline is fine. I'm, I'm sorry about the light here, it's going dark. Um, there it is, better. It hasn't taken any damage really. Um, now these red cordylines you would expect to collapse pretty much instantly at minus six. Because um, that's what happens. Um, they're not as hardy as the green variety in leaf. They do of course come back if they get knocked down, but you know. Uh, this one made it through 2018 beast from the east as well, in which we got minus five. So it's probably been a similar temperature this time round, maybe a bit higher than that here. Um, I did think it was genuinely lower, but now I can see that wasn't the case. Um, there are, of course, some plants that will show damage later on, like the tetrapanax. It remains to be seen whether that goes to the ground. I don't think so. And also, I've got a few things in there that will probably die off. But that's not a problem, really. Another plant that's done well and probably would never get hit, I mean, uh, is the... 
is the chili and guava which is fine the only problem with that is that it's full of snow and it weighs it down and it's just uh, it's just awkward really it is unfortunately a different situation in the greenhouse where there's a lot of damage taking shape i'll show you that quickly actually i may as well since i'm here uh, but this snow is all starting to try and melt now which is nice but so this this stuff will be fine um, there shouldn't be a problem with the majority of the plants on the allotment but of course there will be a few that do not really uh, don't tolerate it well probably like the geranium uh, palmetum actually there um, but if I look in the, the greenhouse which is still frozen up you can see that the dendroceras littoralis has bit it <laughs> yeah but surprisingly you know the uh, the citrus are fine the metrosideras is fine um, also, funnily enough, if I can say this, I don't know. Oh no, that's had it. I was going to say the uh, Songus fruticosa seedlings are fine, but they're not. They've had it too. But I've got some more growing in the house there, so it's not a problem. Um, the strawberry guava, whether you can see it or not, at this point is looking fine. I mean, it's had the shelter, so that's always a good thing. Um, and surprisingly another plant that I'm starting to think is very hardy if you can keep the frost off it is uh, is the uh, elephant but look at that it's not at all maybe maybe it has actually I don't know it's hard to tell at the moment it's looking okay but it's still frozen it's pot so we'll have to see I don't know whether that's frost or it's a bit soft but we'll have to see it might collapse and yeah it's probably been down to about minus four in here so and actually while I'm in here I'll have a look at this uh, new agave yeah that's fine too okay the baby agave is fine as you would expect the fissalis has died a death in here but funnily enough funnily enough the uh, passion fruit uh, plant is just fine which is a bit strange uh, anyway Maybe maybe that'll sort of collapse. I don't know. It's a bit weird. Um, but other than that, looking okay. But yeah, not as bad as I thought it would be. Uh, of course, you can never tell till spring. It's still frozen, by the way, if you haven't seen. You can never tell till spring, really, what, what's going to happen. But um, there are ways and means of finding that out pretty much instantly. And... And I'm not getting any of those vibes from this that they're going to collapse and call, get damage. There's a few plants in here that will, but um, they're not really important. They're just filling fillers and stuff. The main ones, the pineapple guava, the yuzu and the strawberry tree. And the uh, other stuff in that bed are just going to be fine. So I'm not worried at all. Anyway, it's getting dark, so I'm going to go ahead back. Um, I hope that uh, everyone's gardens recover. It's just a shame to see this, but it does happen. I don't think it means that you can't grow this stuff. I think that, uh, you know, as you can see, uh, we're in winter wonderland here and uh, it will still uh, survive, you know. I know that people got minus 10, minus 12 and, and, and crazy temperatures like that. And, you know, that will hurt and things might need replacing. But you never know. Snow is a protector, so... Yeah, even minus six, minus seven isn't the end, and uh, it really depends. As long as we don't have it again this winter, which is still a possibility, unfortunately. But anyway, I hope uh, I hope it all recovers. I hope it recovers for everyone else as well. It is just what it is. It happens. We have to deal with that and move on. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you hopefully for a video when there's no snow, there's no damage and uh, when it's a bit milder maybe in a few days and let's see what happens if any damage comes up by the way i'll i'll, I'll do a video to highlight it but I, I can't see any damage other than the stuff that i know is going to be damaged anyway so yeah anyway again thanks for watching and i'll see you later for another video bye bye bye